Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where today we are playing Formula 1 2021, an online social race. Uh, yeah, against other people this time. Uh, so we're using a Ferrari, which is quite new to the channel. I'm sure people who have been here a while know that, yeah, it's not our usual car. But yeah, we're going against other people from the back of the grid. We didn't put in a qualifying time, so we are thrown to the back. And it's a good challenge to see how we would fare against other people compared to how we fared against AI, which is in the video up here. So yeah, online races, I start, the red lights go out, and here we go. It's always interesting looking at the stats because first of all, the Red Bull crashes into the wall. I get a good start, a good a good start against all these other people. You know, seeing how I am overtaking from 13th all the way up to 8th. And at this moment, it was a non-contact race or the Alpine goes away, non-contact race. And by this time, I hadn't yet sort of got the gist of things. So I was driving very conservatively, not wanting to get too close to other players in case maybe they bleep back in. So. Luckily, it was uh, non-contact the whole way, which uh, took a while to click with me. Oh yeah, we we can see the the car ahead sort of glitching and stuff. That's uh, maybe network issues, maybe. But anyway, we continue. The McLaren touches some grass, and then we get that position easily. But then here comes this turn of which uh, I tapped the brake, which I actually wasn't supposed to because it's quite a fast turn. So yeah still driving as conservatively as i could because yeah still still shaky with the way this online race was going i didn't want to lose many points didn't want to lose positions and stuff so yeah we're driving a ferrari there's a ferrari ahead so the teammates together and then i think an uh an Aston Martin. oh a red bull touched the wall of that side and then i lost my breaking point and went off the track a bit so yeah it was it's it's been a chaotic first lap so that was the first lap then at the end of the first lap uh, we see a McLaren going to the dirt. Yellow flag. Yellow flag is always a nice thing when you're racing online. And then the McLaren in front of us sort of dropped back places. I think he lost connection and stuff. So easy, easy pickings, easy pickings for now. We started 13th and now we are in 6th. Uh, the Ferrari lost his footing and he lost his footing in this turn again, easily giving me his position. So thank you very much. And now we are up to 5th. So we have a McLaren in front of us and I think an Aston Martin in front of him. So yeah, the push, the push continues. So start with 13th and uh, by this time, seeing how the race was going, I was uh, sort of getting into the mood of, okay, maybe I could fight for a podium here, you know, starting all the way from behind. So I kept pushing and if you look at Aston Martin, he almost lost his rear and the sort of sent him flying off the track and that was how he came into, into grabs, into a grabbing range. So pushing pushing on and then I lost my breaking point again I don't know why I kept on losing that but yeah so we took the Aston Martin and then we had a uh, McLaren in front of us trying to push for that podium place so yes it was a big chase just had to put our heads in the game and keep chasing just focus on the track get all your breaking points sorted and it's less hectic driving alone and chasing than driving in a park and overtaking because with overtaking you have to keep wondering where the person is going to be wondering if you have enough speed then if you have a drs zone then you know you might have to break earlier just because of your extra speed so it does help being this distance but luckily here i got into drs range and then the push began the actual push and it was a drs train because i had drs the mclaren in front of me had the drs and then there was a mercedes in front of him so that brought all of us close together and then the fight for second place began it was just three of us uh, the mclaren almost lost his rear on that time but uh, he managed to get it up uh, non-contact races we do not know where the guy is he just appears in front of you like that it's quite unsettling but you know just try to ignore that just try to ignore all the bleeping stuff and just focus on the road which was quite hard to be honest so yeah we keep pushing we keep pushing for the mclaren which just keeps coming up in front of me you know the mclaren keeps coming up the mercedes keeps pushing that side so the aim is just to put the heads in the game and push just forget about what's happening around you and just focus on the track so i stepped in the brakes a little late there showed me off the track just a bit but yeah Keep pushing, you kept on coming closer and closer to the Mercedes, and that's exactly what we wanted. I think we all focused on that second place, and that's what drove this drive, should I say. Nailed the braking zone there, and now all of us are in reach. So, 
there's a big DRS zone coming up here. So DRS train for me and the McLaren going towards the Mercedes. Final lap of the race. Whoever misses this will miss champagne. So that's what's going through my mind driving this. So I managed to overtake both of them. And then if you can see down in the down in the map below, you can see how all of us are close together, just fighting for that second position. And we're wondering who's going to lose out on the, the sweet, sweet champagne at the end of the race. So I dropped behind fourth, luckily, unfortunately. But then, you know, playing conservative, unlike the Mercedes who sh overshot his braking zone. So yeah, just keep pushing and pushing. And then at this moment, I think the Mercedes lost concentration and he spun off the track behind, if you see on the map below. That was unfortunate for him. And there, that sort of concluded the fight for podium. I sort of laid back by that point. I was like, yeah, the Mercedes is gone. I have fought from the back. I have made it to a podium position and yes that's what i needed and that's why the celebration began it's like that's it yeah <laughs> yeah exactly that so it was an amazing drive i enjoyed it racing online is fun and i got drive of the day because uh that was 10 overtakes now that's what i'm talking about uh, yeah the excitement was, was quite high 10 overtakes and uh, a good race a good race so hope you guys enjoyed the race as much as i did uh do like subscribe if you enjoyed it and uh yeah i think i'll be posting a lot more and streaming a lot more of such uh such races in the future so yeah thanks for watching and i hope i'll see you soon